Hey guys, Jonathan here with TLD back with some brand spanking new 2013 27 inch maxed out iMac benchmarks. So this is decked out with the high end 3.5 gigahertz quad core i7 Haswell CPU. The RAM I actually kept stock at eight gigabytes because Apple charges way too much for RAM upgrades. I'm actually gonna do that myself. I'm gonna upgrade it to 32 gigs after the fact. So definitely stay tuned and subscribe if you don't wanna miss that. Now I also did shoot all of the unboxing footage for this iMac and what I'll probably end up doing is rolling that all together into an unboxing and review next week sometime. But for now, I really wanted to focus on the benchmarks and specifically the Fusion Drive. Now, for those of you guys that have been following the channel and saw my 2013 MacBook Air coverage, you'll know that Apple opted to go with PCIe flash storage as opposed to SATA, and that resulted in a huge increase in speed. Now, that same technology is supposed to be applied over to the new 2013 iMac Fusion Drive, so I was really curious to see how that compared to the 2012 model. So, after some benchmarks for the new 2013 Fusion Drive in terms of write speeds, we're looking around 320 megabytes per second, and then hopping over to the read side of things, we're looking at a massive and super fast 700 megabytes per second so that is huge now conversely on the 2012 iMac which I will note was equipped with a one terabyte fusion drive the write speeds were about the same at around 320 megabytes per second and then on the read side of things we're looking around 400 megabytes per second so that is still fantastic but you can see in terms of read the new 2013 fusion drive is a lot faster now there is also a flash only option on the new iMac and I would guess based on these results that that would be around seven to eight hundred megabytes per second both ways read and write so you do get faster performance, but you give up a lot of the storage. Next up, we're gonna hop over to boot time and compare the 2013 iMac with the 2012 iMac. And I actually had footage from when that iMac was brand new. So it's not like I tested it after it was bogged down for a year or anything. And the new iMac clocked in at just under 13 seconds where the 2012 iMac clocked in at 16.1 seconds. So you can see even with a larger capacity hard drive, the new 2013 iMac was almost four seconds faster. Now I will also be doing more extensive testing and comparisons between these two models with gaming, with Final Cut Pro 10, After Effects, Photoshop. So definitely stay tuned for that in the meantime to hold you guys over. At the very least, I did check out Geekbench 3. So this dished out a single core score of 3,834 and a multi-core score of 14,446. Now the 2012 iMac on the other hand, that dished out a single core score of 3,596 and a multi-core score of 13,972. And that was specced with a 3.4 gigahertz i7 Ivy Bridge CPU. This did have 32 gigabytes of RAM, however, so I will update that in the full review to compare them head on with 32 gigabytes in the 2013 iMac. So definitely stay tuned for that. So you could see there was a performance gain. It wasn't massive, but I did expect that based off of the CPU comparison. What I do expect to be a bigger difference is actually the video card in terms of rendering, After Effects, and gaming. So definitely stay tuned. Like I said, I will be extensively testing it out very soon. Aside from that, thank you guys very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did and you are feeling like being awesome, make sure to hit that like button. It is much appreciated. And as always, I will return a virtual high five at your face. If you guys have any questions on these new iMacs regarding buying decisions or hardware or performance, definitely drop me a line down below. The absolute best way to get a hold of me, however, is through Twitter, Facebook, or Google+. I will have all those linked down below along with all the gear that I use to produce these videos. Again, thank you guys very much for watching. This is Jonathan with TLD, and I will see you guys later.